One prophet is by hearing about Krishna, uh, he becomes gradually sinless. Simply by hearing. Uh, unless we are sinful, we don't come into the material world. So we have to become sinless before going back to home, back to God. Uh, because kingdom of God, God is pure, the kingdom is pure. No impure living entity can enter there. So one has to become pure. That is also stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Jisam anta gatam papam. One who has completely been freed from all sinful reaction of his life. Jisam anta gatam papam. Jananam punna karma. And always engaged in pious activities, no more sinful activities. So this Krishna consciousness moment is that once he is given chance to uh, erase all the sinful activities and keep him himself intact, no illicit sex, no intoxication. No meat eating, no gambling. If we follow this regulation, then after initiation all my sins are washed off. And if I keep myself in that washed up position, then why is the question of becoming sinful again? But once washed off, you take your bath and again take the dust and throw on your body, that process will not help. If you say, I'll take again wash and again to throw, then what is the use of washing? Wash up. Once washed up, now keep yourself in that washed up condition. That is equal. So that will be possible if you keep yourself constantly in touch with Krishna by hearing about Him. That's all. You have to uh, remain uncontaminated. And that is punna savana kirtana. Uh, if you hear about Krishna, uh, then punna, you will be always in pious position. Punna savana kirtana. Either you chant, uh, therefore our recommendation is always chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Ram, Hare Ram, Ram. So we should be careful about our um, slipping down again into the sinful activities, that everyone should be careful and keep ourselves in the chanting process, then uh, he's all right. Krishna Punna Sapana Kirtana and gradually. As you go on hearing about Krishna, the all the dirty things within the heart will be clean. Uh, the dirty things are that I am uh, a material body, I am American, I am Indian, I am Hindu, I am Muslim, I am this and that. These are all different types of covering of the soul. The uncovered soul is fully conscious that I am eternal servant of God. That's all. One has no other uh, identification. Uh, that is called mukti. Uh, when one comes to the understanding that I am eternal servant of Krishna, God, and my only business is to serve Him, that is called mukti. Mukti uh, does not mean that you will have another two hands, another two legs. No, the same thing. Simply it is clean. Uh, just like a man is suffering from fever, 
he symptoms are so many. But as soon as the fever is not there, then all these symptoms go. So our this fever in this material world is sense gratification. Sense gratification. This is the fever. So when we become engaged in Krishna consciousness, the sense gratification business ceases. That is the difference. That is the test how you are becoming advanced in Krishna consciousness.